The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show, show you how to use the break and the break at point command to break this rectangle and this line segment into separate parts. So here's how this works. I'm going to press escape. The break and break at point commands are located on the modified toolbar. This is the break command and right above it is the break at point command. You can also find these on the modify panel of the ribbon but you'll have to pick on the down arrow. Here's the break command and here's the break at point command. The first one I'm going to use is the break at point command. So I'm going to select it and you'll notice it says select object and I'm going to use this one to break this line into two separate lines. So I select the line and immediately I'm prompted to specify the first break point. Now I could choose an intersection if I had a line crossing this but since I don't have that I'm going to snap to the midpoint of the line. I'm, so I'm actually going to pick on the midpoint. Now watch what happens when I pick on this side of the line you can see the grips indicating that that's one line segment and I can pick over here and the grips light up indicating that that's a separate line segment. So I have two line segments now and I did that by using break at point. Alright, now here I have a rectangle and what I would like to do, remember that a rectangle acts like one entity, I want to cut a piece of this rectangle out. And so what I'm going to uh, use is the break command to do that. So I'm going to press escape. I'm going to come up here and pick on the down arrow and pick on break. Alright, I'm, I'm asked to select objects. I'm going to pick my rectangle and look what my prompt says. Specify the second break point, but I don't want to uh, do that. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Look at the command line and you're going to see that one of your options is to select the first point for the break. So I'm going to pick on first point and now I'm prompted to specify the first break point. So I'm going to come up and snap to the midpoint of this line and then I'm being prompted for a second break point. I'm going to come over here and select the midpoint of this line and notice how it broke that rectangle between those two points. I'm going to undo that, take you through that again. So I pick on the break command, select the object, and at that point it's important that I come down here and pick on first point. I could also type F and press enter if I wanted to, but I'm going to pick first point. This time I'm going to pick at this midpoint and my second point is going to be the end point of this line and it breaks the rectangle there. 